All right, guys, grab the trash bags and get ready to declutter your space. Now, whether that's your home or your office space, I've got Kristen here with Minima Hi. to help us through the process. So what should be the first step? For me, I have to have some good music to get me going. Music definitely <laughs> helps, but I would say the first step is to find your vision. Oh. So why you want to get organized in the first place. Okay. Um, and then that can help you when you get stuck, you can refer back to your vision. Um, and you can ask, you know, do I want a peaceful morning routine or do I want 25 pairs of jeans? <laughs> <laughs> and she said 25 pairs of jeans. That's literally my life, you guys. I need to declutter, so I'm so glad that she's here with us today. So um, as we're talking, how do we get started? So do we start with the closet first or should I start somewhere small, maybe like the living room or the kitchen or something like that? Yeah, so I think that's a really personal question, but okay. what we found common across all clients is that usually kitchen and clothing are the easiest places to start because the categories are really clear mm -hmm. um, and usually there's not a lot of emotional attachment. So things like paperwork or keepsake are best to save for last because there's a lot of emotional weight so it can be harder to let go. Now how do we how do we deal with that part? The emotional attachment to some things. I, I, I have a sweater um, literally from probably 10 years ago that yeah. I haven't worn in 10 years, but I just can't let it go. How do, we, yeah. how do we get with that? Well, I think sometimes there's, it's definitely a muscle that you build uh -huh. and you build your confidence. When you let go of something, you don't miss it anymore. But I think there's a little bit of a sting that happens when you let go sometimes, but then you usually forget that it's gone and you're just so happy with like the beautiful new organized space. Right. And I think too, our process is all about consolidating like items. So let's say you have clothing, for instance, in like three different rooms. Okay. When you go to declutter clothing, get it all together and then it'll be easier to let go of that sweater because you'll see you have other sweaters I like that you that. actually wear. Yeah, That makes so sense. Now, so yeah. much sense. Now, how yeah. did you guys get started? Um, so I used to be an architect uh -huh. and I studied at Virginia Tech and then when the recession came through in 08 I lost my job which was actually a blessing in disguise because um, I found organi organizing and founded my company in 2010 and I love it because it's really one-on-one. -on -one. Uh -huh. You see an immediate before and after transformation in a day whereas with architecture I was at a desk a lot and it's, it's wonderful. And now I have a team, there's about eight of us. Wow. So I'm the owner and then I have myself and another project manager and a team of organizing assistants. So we can get the job done really quickly. There you guys yeah. go. We got a board <laughs> with your information. If you're looking to reach out to Kristen, uh, the board has their website, their Instagram, and their Facebook. Now on Instagram, that's just one underscore in the front and then the uh, back or two? Two underscores. Okay, two Thank underscores. You. Make sure you got that, you guys. Yeah. Um, so if you have any questions, you can message them there on all of those links and I'll post it on my Instagram and Twitter awesome. and we're getting decluttered guys. We're cleaning up, cleaning up before <laughs> the spring even gets started.